Inspiring How You See That, we're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. Today I have a very special guest, I have Frankie Perez, and Frankie, thank you so much for spending this time with us. My pleasure, man. my pleasure. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're here in Pittsburgh today, you're going to play at the Roxy and, uh, Theater with Apocalyptica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I've been here before, I've actually ran along that river uh, uh, for quite a ways. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool place. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Now, how long have you been singing with Apocalyptica? We just figured this out. So we met in two thousand. We met in two thousand fourteen, and we started. We started touring. We made the album. We started touring the uh, Shadowmaker album in two thousand fifteen. Okay. And we've been uh, friends ever since. Nice. Uh, yeah. So off and on for like eight years now. You've been singing with them. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Very off cool. and on. Yeah. You know, we've all we both done different things since, but sure. we're just fine. Sure. Yeah. So you've been a part of a number of bands, and then, of course, you've got your own solo career. Right. So how is it different being with a band like Apocalyptica, who's you know, well-known around the world, versus when you're on your own? It's, uh, it's, all, it's all art, man. It's, like I, it's all music. I, 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 I put the same enthusiasm and effort into everything I do, whether it's uh, Apocalyptica, Scars on Broadway, Deadline Ritual and my own thing. Um, to be honest with you, I, I work the most with my own thing. You know, um, yeah. uh, that is that is where my where, uh, my heart, my passion is. It's, it's, it's in my original music. Sure. Now, did you know growing up as a kid that you wanted to be involved in music? Yeah, it was pretty early on. I knew that I wanted to entertain people. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know so much of it was music, but I just know that I wanted to entertain. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I was always the class clown. I was always, you know, uh, the life of my, my family parties, you know, like the entertainment. And so I, I always knew that I loved doing that. Sure. Yeah. Now, I became familiar with you, probably how a lot of people, actually through Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Through, so, yeah, love is my religion. And, uh -huh. and I'm probably going to say it wrong. That was it. Los Campos Van Cambiando. Los Campos Van Cambiando, which is a deli, close. It's a, it's a deli cover. It's a time zero yeah. region. So what made you want to do that one in Spanish? What was the driving yeah, force? To be honest with you, it's it's uh, it's all Bob Thiel. Bob Thiel was the uh, uh, the composer and music director of that show, and he the, the music on that show is, is, is was incredible. Yeah, and their, and their takes on it and their take on music, but that was all um, Kurt Sutter and, and Bob Thiel's you know, brainchild. So they would think of a song and, uh, and throw it my way. Um, up and then, Think that I would fit it well, and they were pretty spot on every time. And the funny thing about Los Tiempos Van Cambiando is that they actually that was supposed to be a demo. Like I was, okay. um, I was singing it so another singer could do it uh, for the show. Gotcha. Um, and Kurt loved it, and was like, "There's no reason to go anywhere." It's else. too bad for that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's it's been one of the most successful song, like, songs yeah. from that series. So. Yeah, it was incredible, and I agree. That was that's my favorite show. Yeah. One of the reasons was the music. Yeah, yeah. that you hear it throughout. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's his take on, on on popular songs and the way they use it in scenes was incredible. It's like you know, you'd have this gorgeous ballad over like gnarliest murder scene. It's like you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just it's, it's a little out there. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's like a soap yeah. opera for dudes. Yeah, it really, it really <laughs> was. It really so your career has taken you across the globe. Yeah. You know, to perform for people around the world. Yeah. What has been some of the more memorable places you've been or shows that you've performed? Um, the different parts of my career have been, I've, I've had different like moments. One of them was uh, singing for Slash and Friends at the Court Festival in uh, Norway. That was incredible. It was like the band was just stellar. It was Slash, um, Jason Bottom on Jones, Chris Cheney. Days. John Five on rhythm guitar, rhythm and lead, um, and then Ronnie Wood, uh, Ozzy sang a song. It nice. was yeah, it was it was pretty incredible, pretty incredible. Like, that's one of them. Um, the other experience that I'll never forget was you know touring with these guys, crossing 
Russia on the Trans Siberian Express. Okay. Insane. Like like going all the way to you know from Moscow all the way to Siberia playing shows. That was pretty pretty cool. Um, and then my thing like one that sticks out uh, Atlanta Midtown Festival like early two thousands. Um, we were on the bill like third support my my band like the Frankie Perez band and the headliner won't say who threw a fit didn't want to go on so late and then the second the co-headliner didn't want that slot either oh, so they gave me a baby band the headlining slot at a festival of 20 something and so you're like okay we'll take and it. I was like we'll take it we, <laughs> yeah we killed it and we owned them we owned those bands <laughs> nice so that's the way to do it jump in all right you want to be yeah, a diva yeah. we'll do it yeah we'll do it <laughs> yeah it's like you know my life has been a has been a series of, of opportunities and, and, and grabbing that brass ring Nice. Yeah. If I remember correctly, you grew up in Las Vegas. Born and raised. Okay. Yeah. So you've been all, you said you were here in Pittsburgh before. Yeah. Um, is there an area in the U.S. that you haven't played yet that you'd love to? I haven't played in Hawaii. I would love to do that. I would, I would love to. <laughs> just, I would just love to play Hawaii. I would love to. I haven't even been to Hawaii. I would love to do that. Uh, uh, I've been up to Alaska, but pretty much I'll cover everything else. Yeah. Nice. And you've got a new CD coming out. I do. It's June, so tell us a little bit yeah. about that. So, um, my new album, Crossing the Great Divide, is uh, coming out June 24th. Um, uh, self-produced, I wrote everything, pretty much performed every instrument on it. Um, nice. Uh, and it's, it was a labor of love. I'm really, really proud of it. It's going to be a little departure from people, from what people are going to expect. Is, well, I've had an interesting career as I started as a singer songwriter. Right. Actually, no. I, I signed my first deal in a hardcore band when I was uh, 18 years old. Okay. It was called Malfunction. And then my second record deal was with Atlantic Records as a singer songwriter. Um, but that's always been my love. Sure. Was writing songs and like, you know, and uh, life happens and I had to, you know, meet some men. I had, to, I had to get gigs. I had to figure things out. And people started to realize, like, dude, he's a great rock singer. Let's hire him for this, hire him for that. Okay. Um, but, you know, like for a lot of people, the pandemic was the time for introspection. Sure. Is that the word? That was introspection. Yeah. That makes, that make sense? That does make sense. Uh, and looking in. If, if not, figure it out. Put the, put the one right, one right we'll, here. We'll top it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like a karate movie. You know? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, um, so I just kind of went back to what I did, you know, I, I a guitar in and, 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 uh, a quiet room, and I wrote these songs, and, uh, and I just started tracking it. And then, here it comes. It's actually a companion to uh, a documentary that I shot. Okay, called, I was going to ask you about yeah, that. Yeah, it's called. It's titled the same thing, but the, the the album actually inspired the trip, the documentary, and the title of the uh, documentary, um, where I crossed the country on a motorcycle, like in the height of the pandemic, and visited my friends, artists like Bill Burr, Randy Travis, uh, uh, the Soul Rebels, LP. Um, uh, industry professionals and like basically ask them how they were faring what life looked like before the pandemic what it looked like during how yeah. they saw it where it's going to be uh, uh, what they see themselves after sure and uh, and I visited healthcare facilities played for the healthcare workers so it, it's funny because the pandemic was like the, the source to the material but it ended up being a small thread okay. to what the documentary became. Kind of like the became. background for Yeah, because what it became is like, it was just, a, it became a film about like humanity. Okay. You know, and the fact that it's, people try to divide us, you know, yeah. but it's it, in the media and obviously trying to divide us. At the end of the day, people just want to live. Yep. You know what I mean? And it's yep. like, they want to have their own ideas. They want to have the freedom to, 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 to speak and to say what they feel. They also want to retreat into the homes. They want to be safe. Exactly. You know, and so once, once you find that common thread, which at the end of the day becomes love. Yep. You know, uh, it's the greatest gift we've been given. It really is, and, and that and that and that was that's what the documentary became about. And it's very yeah. reflected in both the album and the doc. So I just I really can't wait for people to hear it. Awesome. Yeah. Now is the documentary is that released now or is that going to come out around the same time? Out. It's coming out. We're in like the final. We're in the final uh, stages of editing. Okay. And it's a beautiful film. It was uh, directed by a great director and edited incredibly well. And it's just shows the American landscape from Florida all the way to uh, Los Angeles. And it's just like and everything in between. Very cool. Yeah. 
Nice. So we'll make sure when that comes out to put links and let you guys know. Yeah. So go get a copy of it and we'll be excited to see it. Yeah. yeah. So Frank, again, thank you so much for spending oh, this time with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. How can fans follow you online? Um, all the socials, uh, Instagram, I'm pretty much mostly active on Instagram. Okay. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm 46, so it's like, <laughs> I don't want to press too many buttons. Just be up 42, I'm like, I don't want this Twitter crap. <laughs> yeah, I don't even use Twitter. Like, I have an account, and it's like, I don't understand it. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, uh, and, probably, and I don't do TikTok, but so, uh, uh Frankie Prez official on Instagram, and, uh, uh and Frankie Prez on Facebook and then my website is uh, fxptheartist.com and pretty much you can find anything you need to know about me there. Nice. So we're pumped. We're going to see him tonight at the Roxy in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And before it goes, is there any advice or anything you'd love to say to fans? Um, in, in terms of what? In terms of like regarding what? You, if they are looking to get in the music industry, um, don't. Maybe some <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we kidding. get that a lot of run. No, 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 I, no, we need music and we yep. need new music and we need, uh, you know, we, we need people to inspire the next generation and the next generation after that. Um, so I would say if this is really what you want to do, you have to dive in 100%. There's no, there's no happy medium. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, you have to do what you have to do to survive. Sure. Get away the table, you have to, you know, you have to swing a hammer, you have to do something. But that has to become secondary yeah. to your heart. That's your passion. That has That's to drive you. And it's and it's caused me multiple marriages <laughs> and and a lot of heartbreak. But a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> but um, it's worth it. Sure. You know, if you just if one if you connect with one person in that audience, you, you, you it's all worth it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, again, Frankie, thank you Brother, so much, thank man. You. Appreciate, I appreciate it. it. And thank you guys as always. We love you, God bless, and rock on. Thank you.